Hello, I want to show you an easy way for you to use and try Drupal on your desktop computer so that you can learn more about Drupal before you actually buy some web space. <coughs> Pardon me. First of all, you want to go to a website called aquia.com. Um, Aquia it's a website that, uh, that you can download some free software called the Developer's Des Desktop. Now, if, if you go to um, aquia.com, aquia.com, a c q u i a, and go to downloads, you can um, download the software for free. Now, uh, what this is, it's, it's called an AMP stack, which means it's Apache web server, MySQL database, and PHP. They're, they're all programming, well, uh, uh, it's a web server and a database server and a programming language called PHP. Now, make sure you click this, Dev Desktop. Don't get the Acquia Drupal, get Dev Desktop. Just click the download button and you can download it onto your computer. Once you've downloaded it, unzip it on your um, desktop and then just double click the, the program, it, it, it more or less install itself. It'll ask you a few questions, you've got to have a, you'll, you'll need a, if you've got, if you use Vista, you'll need a Vista password, just so that it allows you to install it, so Vista will allow you to install the software. Um, and you'll need a password for Drupal, so it's, it's handy if you've got, if you think up a password you can use for your Drupal site as well. Now, once it's installed, it takes about five minutes to install, um, once it is installed, all you've got to do is go to your start button at the bottom, click all programs, then look for Acquia Dev Desktop. It's this yellow line here, it's called Acquia Dev Desktop. Uh, click that and then you'll see a, a button that says Control Panel. If this is a control panel for Acquia Dev Desktop, not for your Windows control panel. Right. Um, if you want to, you can drag this icon onto your desktop and it makes it easy for you to open the program but it's simple just to go to start then um, all programs Acquia Dev Desktop control panel. Once it's started you'll see a, si a screen like this. Now if you look at the red square inside there there's a button that says local host. Now local host is the, um, the, the website that this software is set up for you. It's a Drupal website inside your computer. Now, I personally would leave that alone and make another website. If you leave that one, it, like one you can fall back on if you ever want to. Um, and if you look, click the button that says local host and you'll see more underneath it. And that means more websites. So click more and you'll see this screen. Now, the bit that says new, that red thing where I put a square around, um, click that button to, so that you can make a new website. Put in a, a name for the website. I've used Learning Drupal, but you can use any name you want. Don't use test. Test is, uh, is needed by the software. So don't use the word test in that site name. But you can use, you know, whatever you take a fancy to. Underneath it there's a small box that says want custom site details and account settings. Now I personally would use the same password for all of the uh, sites I build inside this Acquia uh, desktop software. Um, if you click that want custom details then it just means that you'll have to have a, a different password for each new website you make inside this software. It's just a bit more hassle for you. Right. Oh. click the, the OK button at the bottom and you'll see this screen now the bit I've outlined in red your new site is being initialized it takes a while for Drupal 2 uh, for uh, Acquia to build the Drupal site it's got to make a database and things like that to install the software originally when you first install the software it should take you about five minutes but just to make a new site inside it using this panel that you're using now 
it only meant to take two or three minutes but you've just got to wait until it does it it's got to set up a database for you and things like that right when it's done it you'll see this screen and you'll see localhost and then underneath there's the, the, the site that you set up and we called it learning drupal so you can see here it says learning highlight that by just clicking the one that you've, that you've uh, added yourself that the one I added called learning so I highlight that by clicking it then click go to and that'll take you to the website that is made add your username your password and then underneath the, I made this screenshot so I can't actually scroll down um, underneath there there's a button that says login so put your username your password login and you can start using your website now on a, a Drupal website this bar at the top this black bar which opens up in your web browser but this black bar has buttons on it and what you want to do if you look here there's one that says subscription not active so we want to get rid of that button and the reason it's there is because of a module called Acquia Network Connector now this module has been put there by Acquia because they they, they can sell you a service of um, looking after your website and this module they use to connect to your website if your website was on, on the internet they could connect to this website or to your website and um, do jobs on your website they could do jobs for you and you could give them money we're not going to use this service and if we leave this module enabled it will keep giving us a few little uh, error messages so we'll disable it what you need to do is just click this here that says acquire site information that little tick click that scroll to the bottom of the screen and then click update configuration then come back to this part of the page that's acquire network connector and unclick this grey one but right? when you unclick the first blue one and clicked update then the, this one here the, the top one will become um, blue and you'll be able to untick that as well you can't untick them both at the same time to get to that part of the site you look on the black bar for modules you won't be in this page to start with um, so you'll have to actually look on here for modules click modules scroll right down to the bottom of the page and look for Acquia network connector when you unclick those you're ready to start building your site now your site will look like this but it will have the black bar at the top but it's on your computer it saves you having to buy web space if you're not completely sure whether or not you would be able to use Drupal or you don't if you spend the time learning how to use it whatever but this is a really good way to um, to get used to Drupal to, to, to try it out and see what you think now that's where you download it from acquia.com downloads so why not download it install it try it for a while and see what you think I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again soon bye